Hello wonderful people and welcome to my tutorial for today. I'm still my humble self, the Nedu woman. I sincerely want to appreciate you guys for your time on my channel. Thank you for adding value to my life. I appreciate you guys a lot. And I say may the almighty God keep blessing you guys for me. And if you are new to this channel, please hit the red icon to subscribe and also touch the notification bell. Please, I need to apologize also. For those of us that expect me to always wear the finished product of our tutorial, please, I can't be doing that every time. I only wear it if they are my fabrics, if they are mine. But if they are not mine, there's no point wearing them, okay? So please accommodate me. But I promise you one thing, that whatever I upload here, comes out very very well if it doesn't come out well i won't upload it the intention of this channel is to educate to enlighten and to add value in your life even as much as you add value also into my own life so i hope you will not be pushing me to that tight corner of looking for how to be convincing you that what i do is real all right with that said we are going to be talking about for today's tutorial how to make a turtleneck sleeveless circle dress okay and i also want to apologize again i will not be wearing it because it is not mine all right so let's just get started and also i'll be using the floor because it's going to be a long circle dress okay then again i'll also add for the bodies since we're now over familiar with the bustia you know princess court there's no need showing it if i need to show the neckline i'll show the neckline okay so i will cut the bodies we'll cut the circle dress on the floor and then i will talk about the total neck that is what i will show but the way i cut the bodies i will not be showing it okay so let's just get started all right so i'll be cutting the lower parts now our length is 49 that is from our half length from this point is 49 okay so i'll be folding my fabric into two i'll either be cutting the front or the back it depends let me see i hope you see the way i'm folding it into a cone shape have to check whether it is up to the length 49 okay i'll be adding one and a half inches extra for allowance so i'll be leaving it at 50 and a half okay so my measurement will start from here My measurement begins at this point, right? The waist measurement is 29 divided into 4 will give us 7 and quarter. I will add 2 inches extra for allowance, which will leave us at this point. Okay, so we we'll just follow this selvage. And then since I added one and a half inches extra as allowance, I need to extend it to this folded side at the hemline. This is 50 and a half. Now with this done, I'll need to join the lines. So this is length 50 and half, starting from this base measurement. All right. Now, looking at this place, you can see it isn't enough. All I need to do is to cut out 
another fabric to augment whatever that is left here. All right? So I will need to cut this one out first of all. This is the front panel. Okay. So now having carefully laid out the front panel against this uh, fabric that we are yet to cut, you can see this is my zipper allowance. I said I'll be using one and a half inches for it. And this is one and a half inches. Okay. All I need to do is to just proceed and cut it out the only place i'll be putting allowance is towards this selvage area this is the zipper area okay and as you can also see i folded i placed this front panel the folded part close to the zipper area not the other way round. okay so i will now cut it out okay so with this back panel now i will cut out the second back panel all right Okay, lovely people, these are the bodies, the front and the back, all right? I already cut it out, but I didn't include the neckline, okay? Now, the shoulder is seven and a half inches, as you can see here. This is seven and a half inches, but because this is a sleeveless dress, I would just want to move in by one inch okay so instead of seven and a half i will leave it at six and a half all right six and a half okay i hope you understood what i did okay now for my neckline first i'm marking out my three inches for shoulder slope and then half an inch here. Okay. Now for the neckline, I'm going to be maintaining these three inches. And for the volume of my neck, I'll be using three and a half inches for the front and then one inch for the back. So this is one for the back. Three and a half for the front. Okay. So I will just cut it out first. The neckline for the back. And then that of the front. I will also impute my adjustment at the armhole area and the shoulder. half inch shoulder slope okay now as it is i will just proceed to cut out my wooden use my pressing iron to glue it to the front panel and then i'll cut out my lining line both the front and the back panel properly okay now for the turtle neck you should also measure your client, okay? When you measure, the measurement you get is what you will use to cut your turtleneck. For my client, the measurement is 15 inches, okay? That is the circumference of the neck area, 15 inches. So the excess of this is the allowance. This is 15 inches. Whatever that is left here, I added it as allowance, okay? So I will just close it up. There is no ceremony in this one because you are going to be attaching it like so. It's going to stand this way. Okay. But if you like, you can put your hair stay just to give it a little weight or your interlining to give it a little weight. Or you put also your color gum. All right. Okay. So now I have uh, successfully lined our uh, upper panel that is our bodies i use the fabric as the lining also okay so this is the way i lined it i sewed the armhole area and the two sides okay then i turned it 
inside out and then closed up the neckline and the shoulder area and of course the waistline okay now for the back also i did the same thing i lined the zipper area my armhole and the side okay and then i turned it inside out again to close up the shoulder and the neckline all right so the next thing we should do is to join the lower part of our dress to each corresponding side okay i will join front to front i will join back to back all right and when i'm done doing that i will then join them at the shoulder i will join the front and the back panel at the shoulder this is what i mean i don't want to join it before joining the lower part this is what i mean when i am done When I must have joined the lower part of our dress, I will now join them at the shoulder here, okay? Before we now insert the turtleneck. All right, seeing that I've joined them at the shoulder, the next thing I will do is to now insert our neck, okay? I used the measurement of one and a half inch, inches, sorry, that's what I'll be using. All right, and as for the length, I used the circumference of this neck plus allowance. All right, like I said, the neck is 15 inches, but I used more than 15 inches. Okay, so I will now proceed to place it like so. This is the front, so I'll be placing it front against front so that at the end of the day this roughness will be inside okay so i will walk this way and i will continue until i've placed it all around the neck area when i finish that i will then, then turn the back and close up the back insert my zip all right so with the turtle neck added this is what we have but like I said, it's not mine, but I needed to show you guys because the concentration is on the turtle neck. We already know how to do this piece and the circle stuff is not that difficult. Okay, so this is what we have. All right. So the next thing we're going to do now is to join them at the two sides. I'm going to now join them at the two sides this way using the body measurement since i've also inserted the zip okay so i'll just proceed to join them at the two sides using the body measurement all right so i've done the joining and the dress is almost ready the only thing left is pocket i'm going to be putting pocket here all right and how do you insert your pocket Seeing that I've joined, I've closed everywhere up, I've even finished the hemline area. You have to, as you are joining, two or three inches away from your waistline. That is where you close up before you insert your pocket. I hope it's very clear. This is my waistline area. So I still extended my stitch with two or three inches. I hope you understand. So I got to this point. This is where I stopped. This is my waist line, okay? And this is where I stopped. Now my zip is going to, sorry, my pocket is going to be here. All right? And then I gave about six inches so that the hand can easily pass. I hope you understand. Before I now started my stitch again. I hope you understand. So my pocket is going to fall between this marking here and this marking. And this marking is two, about two or three inches down from the waist line. Okay. Now we have to cut the pocket. All you need to do is, you know, this is how a pocket normally comes. This is how we insert our hand in the pocket, like this. 
okay so having placed my hand like so you just have to mark it it depends on how big you want the pocket to be okay so this is what i have like so i'm going to open this place up all right so i will now cut it this is my own method you can use your own method of putting the pocket okay so it's going to be like this this one at the side and then the pocket goes down so i'll use it to cut another one at the end of the day i'll be closing up this place from the back anyway i will close it up like this and leave this point open okay i will stop like around here i hope you saw the marking so I work like this. Okay. I hope you understand. So I will now proceed to cut the second pocket out. Sew it before I show you how to attach it to the body of the dress. Okay, so here we go for the pocket. First of all, I made a marking for you to see the opening for the pocket this is the opening okay now the length of this pocket at this open area i've successfully closed up other areas okay is longer than the space or the opening for the pocket okay that is to say you open your dress up like this by the side open your pocket also like so and then you place it making sure that what you have remaining at this down part you also have it at this upper part i hope you understand since this one is in the excess compared to the opening for the pocket okay so you place it like so you attach you stitch this pocket this open side to the side of this dress like so when you have done that you turn it over to the other side since you left it open and then stitch also the second side and that will be all all right so i've inserted the pockets now if you like it is optional you can choose to still top stitch so that it will be held firm but me i won't be doing that i'm fine with the way this one is okay all right, so this is it. This is the finished product of our tutorial for today. And I'm sorry I will not be trying it on like I earlier said because it is not even my size and it is not mine also. But I promise you it came out perfectly well, okay? Thank you for sticking with me to this time. I sincerely appreciate you guys. And if you are new to this channel, please don't leave without hitting the red icon to subscribe and also touching the notification bell, okay? If this tutorial has been helpful to you, please give us thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos till we get to see you again in my next class don't forget i sincerely love you from the bottom of my heart take very good care of yourself and keep your head high bye